Hello, I'm Phil Dorado, author of The 60 Second Leader. This is one in a series of four short clips on how to lead mistakes and to start looking at errors as part of your innovation process. Now what makes this so difficult is most of us are scared of the damage caused by mistakes to our own reputation, to the reputation of the people we work with, cash flow, we're afraid that the whole business might end up toppling over if you have too many of them. That's a very real and valid fear. So what I want to share with you in this clip is three ways of limiting the damage of mistakes so that you don't run away fearful from them and compromise the creativity that you need to build into your organisation. The first way of limiting the damage of mistakes is four simple words. It's an attitudinal change that you need to make and that you need to constantly spread with the people that you work with. And the four words are only make new mistakes. It's in the making of new mistakes that you tend to be working in areas of innovation. Repeating mistakes again and again is obviously not a good thing and is not a sign of innovation, it's a sign generally of incompetence or that there's a problem that needs to be tackled within the system. So that's your first mechanism for making you feel perhaps a bit more comfortable about the idea of leading mistakes. The second will sound familiar to you. You'll have learned it at business school if you were at business school or it's already practiced within your organisation. It's using pilots. If you're coming up with a new process or you have a new product and you pilot it, then you've got an automatic wall around it so that you can limit any damage that comes out of it and you can tweak the new process that you're working on. So what I want to share with you with pilots is firstly encourage you to use them, far more perhaps than you do at the moment, and secondly is to give you the three basic principles of good piloting, which is quite simply think big, start small, scale fast. So there we have two mechanisms for helping you to limit the damage that arises inevitably from mistakes. Firstly, is a simple four words, only make new mistakes. If you can inculcate that into your culture and your way of doing things, you'll be heading in the right direction. And secondly, is the three great principles behind pilots, think big, start small, scale fast. Now the third, and probably the most powerful thing you can do in terms of creating a culture that strangely welcomes mistakes, and this will still seem strange to you at the moment, I'm sure, is to admit them yourself. Leadership usually comes with a myth attached to it, and that myth is the infallibility of the leader. But in my experience, the most effective leaders are those who will quickly put their hands up and admit if they've made a mistake. Because by doing so, you give other people permission to do the same thing. Now, the one thing you need to do after that is share the learning from the mistakes, and that's where most organisations fall down. So I want to finish this clip on, on mechanisms that you can use to make you more comfortable with leading mistakes by drawing your attention again to Jack Welsh, one of the most successful CEOs we've seen in modern times. Welsh, who you may remember if you saw the other clip on Welsh's own personal experience of mistakes, once blew up the plant in which he was working. And instead of being fired, he was asked to share the learning from his mistakes with his boss. Now, throughout the rest of his career in General Electric, Welsh brought into practice a new initiative which spread throughout the organisation, where once every quarter or so they'd have a meeting of a thousand people and they'd have a competition to see who'd made the biggest mistake. So somebody would go up, a manager would go up on stage, for example, and explain why the environmentally sensitive light bulb that they were working on didn't work or didn't get to market in time or overran its costs. And as long as they could share the learning with the other units within General Electric so that they couldn't go and make the same mistake again, they'd be awarded with $1,000 or a colour television appropriate to whatever the, whatever the scale of the mistake was. The bigger the mistake, the bigger the prize. So there you have a series of mechanisms that you can put in place to make you more comfortable about this idea of leading mistakes as part of leading the innovation process. Only make new mistakes is the first principle. The three principles behind great pilots, think big, start small, scale fast. Then the whole possibility of making mistakes yourself has to be admitted and accepted by other people. There is no infallibility of leaders. And lastly, sharing mistakes. Come up with mechanisms for doing what Jack Welsh did share mistakes and the learning from them.